All right, everybody, welcome to the Hercules Tire Sunbelt Basketball Championships. For those in the room, when asking a question, please remember to identify yourself with your name and media affiliation. For those joining us via Zoom, please remain on mute and type your questions into the chat. We are joined now by Southern Miss and head coach Joy Lee McNellis. Coach, would you please begin with an opening statement and introduce your players? First of all, I'll introduce my players. To my left is Dominique Davis. To her left is Malia Grayson. Uh, opening statement, uh, I would like to say, man, what a fight. Uh, first of all, I would like to say, second of all, I'd like to say Arkansas State, what a run that they had down the stretch. Uh, their team really peaked at the right time to get two wins in this tournament. Their improvement level was unbelievable. I think Higginbottom is a player that was injured most of their season and she was truly a game changer. Hats off to them. Now to our team. Woo! To the top, baby. To the top. Okay. I am just really, really proud of the two next to me, Malia Grayson and having a double-double, Dominique Davis and, and scoring for us and putting us on the back during that run that we had to be able to stretch that lead. She totally could, took control getting to the rim and making things happen for us. Uh, but I think with that being said, I think it was a true team effort. We had three balls that were shot by Lauren Gross, Rose Warren. We shot 57% from three-point range. I want them to sleep with hand warmers on that you use deer hunting so their hands will stay hot till, till we play again. Uh, but an amazing effort by our entire team and just really, really proud uh, of them. You know, Arkansas State made that run late in that fourth quarter. We did not handle that very well. I think it's time for us to learn from that and have some growth because our next opponent, whoever that may be, obviously scouted that and would be ready to come back at us again. So that's a growing opportunity. I think teachable moments is something I learned many, many years ago, and I think that's a teachable moment for us. But I can't say enough about the two that is sitting to my left, but mostly our entire team because they never quit. They were relentless, and they held together to be able to get the victory. Okay, we'll open up for questions. You kind of alluded to it um, just a couple, a couple minutes ago, but about Lauren and Rose kind of shooting. You know, what does that bring when they can knock down those looks? You know, I, I think that definitely is an added dimension to us. Uh, it allows them to have to guard out, not be able to pack it in quite as much uh, on our inside game, Malia in particular, to be able to uh, stretch the floor. Um, I think that they stepped up and shot it with confidence. And I'll be honest with you, I think over the last month, the two of them have spent a lot of extra time in the gym. Actually, uh, by the day we left, we practiced that morning. Coach Ladner was kind enough to let us have his practice time so we could get down here to scout. And uh, I asked Lauren, because she was kind of sweaty uh, when we started practice that day. And I said, Lauren, did you get shots up this morning? She said, oh, yes, ma'am. I made 250 three balls before you all got here this morning. And so I think their level of commitment in the last month has really elevated. And I think it's, it's obvious it's paid off. And I think when you do that, my belief is, is that God rewards people who work. I, I just truly believe that. That's in Scripture. And I think those two players have done that, and I think it's awesome that their works are rewarded. Coach, uh, Austin Madden, WDAM. Just talk to me uh, about that third quarter. What clicked? Uh, yeah. You know, Austin, all year there's been a couple of games that the third quarter has not been ours. And the third quarter was our quarter. And again, I really feel like that Dom kind of got that started when she came out and really was the force, the charge that kind of started making that happen as she was attacking the basket. And I think just everything started to click. Defensively, we were able to make some stops. We continued to push the ball in transition. We were running our secondary part of our transition offense, and we were able to score. And really and truly, most everything was scored at the rim. Lauren did get a three ball in that stretch. And again, I feel like that that just really kind of fire, gave us fire in our soul. As I would say, fire in the belly, okay? Fire in our belly, and it just kind of triggered everything, and it allowed our confidence to really soar. 
And I think that truly was the game-changing moment was in that third quarter. And I don't know, you know, the third quarter, that's when we won it 23 to, to 14. And if you look across the quarters, that was the biggest stretch. I think it makes a difference. Uh, Dom, just talk about your game today. Kind of slow start to begin with uh, for the team, but I'm sure you could just match that to kind of jitters to getting out there the first time. Uh, definitely. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I've been catching cramps. But um, we just – we knew they had played two games, so they were able to – be in the gym before we were, but we came out of here, we took a deep breath before the game. And you know those jitters are, this is a big stage uh, for us and for all the teams in the conference. But um, I knew that I had to get going early. I couldn't have a slow start that uh, have that y'all have seen in the past. And I knew if I got going, my teammates, you know, would be feeling comfortable. And then once we get comfortable, we're a scary team to deal with. Kimberly, a double-double tonight. Uh, what was working for you out there on the inside the, inside the paint? Uh, well, I'll say for the first half, I did have a slow start coming out with probably, I think it was one for eight. But then second half, well, I just did my job as rebounding. And I just kept rebounding and trying to see what could make happen for me. So just kept rebounding and putting back up. I don't see the numbers here, but just Malay, you know, you talk about kind of mentality on the offensive glass, how mm -hmm. you're able to get this kind of second chance uh, points for the team. Uh, that's a big deal for us for our, as a team. We're always talking about rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. That's just something that we take take as a team that we know we're supposed to do every game, and it's a big challenge for us. Um, uh, you had eight assists on the night. Uh, I think one of the best passes of the night was the pass. Uh, I think the core is the pass. <laughs> um, just talk to me about what did you see out there, especially um, on the offensive game? Um, that's a shout out to Lauren and Rose. When they knock down threes from the outside, or if anybody on the team is hitting those threes from the outside, it opens up everything down there. Uh, they teams can't really pack it in on us, so that's a shout out to them. And then, you know, uh, just playing with each other for so long and having their hands ready that was something at the beginning of the year we always had a problem with just have your hands ready because you never know when it's coming. And JB, she, she made a, a great pass and she finished it uh, with some defense on her, so. That's all that is. But that's a shout out to Rose and Lauren knocking. It's just being able to spread the floor for us. Coach, I know it's kind of a debated stat, but just jumping out a plus minus a 28 for Femi Cuny, you know, what does that kind of tell you? You know, and, and the one thing, too, I'll say about Femi is she hit down those free throw line jumpers, and that's something that she's really struggled with. Uh, and she and Sade Watkins, I'll, I'll tell you, both of them, you know, we've had them shoot a lot of 100 free throw line jumpers over the last couple of weeks where they've had to get in because, again, people have not guarded them. They've taken their four players and packed it back in on Malia. That's how they've guarded. They've doubled Malia with their four players. And so, again, I'm, I'm going to say I can't say enough or of how proud I am of Femi of being able to step to that free throw line and being able to hit those shots where they were packed back off of her. So, again, I think that elevated. And Femi is a rebounder. She is going to get rebounds and she's going to be able to get some stick backs and I think that's truly an advantage for us even when we take maybe even an ill-advised shot and if it's going to be hit that rim then I think she and Malia have every opportunity to go get an offensive rebound and get a stick back um, but I will tell you I just think the overall improvement of Femi is a huge and I think also Femi is a mismatch for a lot of our opponents because as strong as she is and as physical as she is, it gives us an opportunity to post her up. Now, I will tell you, the last week, Femi has really struggled physically uh, with her medical condition. Uh, it's been really a hard week for her. Uh, and so I was pleased with the way she came out and played today with all that she's battled with. Coach, how, how does it feel just to kind of get this first one under your belt? Oh. Um, <laughs> You know, a day to rest tomorrow, just maybe Malia and Dom, you talk about it too, just getting that first one always is good. You know, it's been a while since we've been able to get past this first round, to be very honest with you. And so I think that one of my concerns in playing and getting – it's great to get the bye. And we were excited about getting the bye, obviously, to not have to play. But then when you play a, game, a team that has played two games in this building – and it's your first time. I'm going to tell you, coming in here today, our shooting was very good, and it was much better than I expected today in the shoot-around. Now, we had it timed, and it was just like 
this. It worked like clockwork. We got a lot of shot up, shots up in 20 minutes, a ton of shots. And I could not believe how well we shot the basketball today. Um, and I was really concerned because the rims are really tight. You know, they're not loose. They're not a shooter's rim, to be very honest with you. And watching Arkansas State play yesterday, I was like, oh, my goodness, because they can really shoot the ball. And, I mean, they were draining everything. And my concern was that they've had two days to shoot in here. And we're just going to get 20 minutes before we play. And so – I was pleased today, so I felt a whole lot better after we had the shoot around today the way we shot the basketball. And so I just felt like that getting that win under our belt, and again, you know, as coaches, you, you want to know how, how's it, because I'm in the locker room, I'm like, how's their warm up? Is their warm up good? Were we energized? You know, and I always ask them when they come in the locker room, do you make one shot? And they'll say, yeah, we made a few. I said, somebody will say, yeah, coach, we made two. Because as a coach, you know, you're not out there and you're like, Whew, they had a good warm up, or if their warm up was bad, I'm like, oh. Uh, but it was great to know that their warm up, because there was a lot of drama before we got on the floor, and you know, of course, they were wanting to see. And I was, no, you're not worried about that game. Get in our locker room. What are you doing? Um, and so it was just exciting to be able to get our game started and us to be able to get that win under our belt and be able to have the opportunity to advance. And I've talked the beginning of the week, I've talked about, you know, we're 120 minutes away from a championship, 120 minutes away from the blue dot. We talked about that the very first day. Then we've cut it down to it's 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes. It's 40 minutes. So we won the first 40 minutes. So now we've got another 40 minutes coming up day after tomorrow, and we've got to be able to take care of business. Louisiana Lafayette. Yeah, when we played our last two games. Yeah, we talked about 80 minutes in that weekend. And now you're the same standpoint. Can you just talk about that a little bit? You know, as we, we, talk, we try to find things to motivate them you know, to try to get them to lock in, something to be able to hang their hat on. And we did. And that last weekend, that's what we talked about is, you know, 80 minutes. We're 80 minutes away from winning a championship. That's what we talked about and in going into that last weekend. Now, we knew a lot of things had to happen for us to be able to win a championship or share a title of a regular season championship. But after we were able to get win one and we had to go on the road to Lafayette, now we got, we got the first 40 minutes. Now we're 40 minutes away from a championship. Then at halftime, we're 20 minutes away. And, you know, we had no idea what had happened at the end of the game. And so, again, we were able to win a share of that conference championship. So now we're, we've moved on. It's a new season. It's a new chapter. So that's why I told them on Monday – we're 120 minutes away from our blue dot that we talked about in Hanging a Banner, and the blue dot is the NCAA. So now we're 80 minutes away from getting a blue dot, and that's what our ultimate goal is. So now we're at 80 minutes. But all we've talked about now is it's 40 minutes because now you got to do one game at a time to be able to survive in advance. Any final questions? All right, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.